Hello, in this episode, we're gonna talk about factoring quadratic functions and its applications in uh, trigonometry. So we have done the factorings of quadratic functions and let's look at uh, this function we have here, two times cosine x plus two times cosine x squared. If we introduce the variable u equals to cosine x, then this expression will become um, like that. And that can be factored into 2u times 1 plus u. And then after it's being factored, we can bring back the u and the u equals to cosine x. And so x is going to be in the uh, u is going to replace, going to be replaced by cosine x. So this will be the factor form that we uh, we get the factors by um, by using the quadratic function factoring technique. So let's look at this next one. In this next one, we also gonna introduce u as an intermediate variable and, um, and factor the resulting uh, function in terms of u. And after it's being factored, we will get, um, you know, we'll get a substitute u by its original expression, which is a cosine x, and it will be right in place like that. Okay, so you can see the technique we factor to u squared minus u using, you know, the techniques we talk about in this section will be very much useful. The next one, um, if we look at this function and we want to factor it for whatever reason, for whatever reason, and obviously we're gonna introduce, introduce u equals to sine x. And sine x after u replaced um, sine x, so we get two u squared minus three u plus one. And then these get we get the two factors. And after the factor has been done, and we will end up with a, um, you know, replacing u by its original uh, function, which is sine x. And then we will get the factors done. And so for whatever purposes you're gonna use these, and this is gonna be, um, going to be there, okay? So question number four, uh, you look at this example. Once again, we introduce u uh, equals to sine x. And uh, we have, uh, 4u squared minus 4u, 4x, uh, 4u, sorry, 4u plus 1, and that's going to be factored into 2u minus 1 squared. And um, in the end, we're going to replace u by sine x. So sine x repl replace u. So with these factor forms, you can proceed with whatever you do whether it's a statement or if statement, then you can go for it. Uh, so that's all for applications of factoring trinomials in the field of trigonometry. Thank you for watching.